Wow, that was pert near professional. <laughs> yeah, pert near. And now back to the crap. So anyway, planning a cruise on the Carnival Mardi Gras. Well, ever since they released the plans for the Carnival Mardi Gras, we wanted to go on it. It looked great. It's powered by liquefied natural gas, no longer diesel, so that's gonna be nice and clean. And it's a huge ship with lots to do. It's divided into five zones. You've got the main area, what used to be called the atrium. It's to the side of the ship, but it's several stories tall. You've got the French Quarter, that's where Emerald's Bistro is and French type, French Quarter type items. And the back of the ship is a pool, very similar to the Vista class ships. Very nice back there. La Piazza has the Italian restaurants and bars and things of that nature. Lido, where the swimming pool is, check that out. And if we were 10 years old, the ultimate playground might be good. But we're not, we're old people. So we're gonna be inside taking advantage of it. Seriously, it's a seven day cruise. We're not gonna to get to see everything in the ship. So we're gonna to have to resign ourselves to do as much as we can and just have a blast. So as we were trying to determine what cabin we'd go with, we looked around, we looked at the Havana Cabanas up front. They're not in the back anymore on the Mardi Gras. We also looked at the extended uh, balcony, which looked nice, like a nice room. Also the family harbor window ocean view, nah, need a balcony. And uh, the aft extended balcony, which looked nice, but we opted to go with something a little more hoity-toity. Carnival calls them the Aft Corner XL Suite. We decided to do that from the first time I saw the rendering of what the balcony was gonna look like. We'll get to that in a second. So our room is on the 11th deck, 11507. That other one circled is where our in-laws are gonna stay. Here's the bedroom for the suite. I mean, there's two rooms. It's awfully nice. Walk-in closet there. There's the... Uh, living room area with the widescreen TV and the refrigerator and then you head out on the balcony you got that little circular day bed thing you head over now remember we are on the port side this is a starboard side suite so it'll be reversed but you're right you see in the back there a hot tub yeah a hot tub so uh, that's amazing then you're going to walk back up through uh, from the hot tub to the deck itself. You can see there's two loungers and a table for four. So you can have a party. I mean, it's just a beautiful place. And you can imagine that you really don't have to go anywhere else for seven days. You could just stay in that suite. That'd be awfully nice. Hang on a second there, Chuck. We have to take a look at this sweet bathroom. There's the uh, double sink with the, uh, yeah, look at that. You got your shower with the rainwater shower head and the jets that can caress your body like you've never been caressed. It's going to be a fabulous time in that shower. So there you go, let's hear it for the shower, Chuck. <laughs> Coming up next, we'll be planning our onboard activities, dining and shore excursions. Aha! So yeah, a lot of big fun coming up. Hope you'll join us for our next video coming in a few days as we get ready for our December 2022 Carnival Mardi Gras Cruise.